Have you ever wanted to speedrun Super Mario 64 for the Nintendo 64? I don't know, maybe. Do you look forward to resetting it once for 10 hours every single fucking day of your life? I'm listening, I'm listening. You just really want to hate yourself? Fuck yes! Well, you can hate yourself if you don't have any speedrun set up. And that's what I'm here for. I will show you the bare minimum of what you need to play and record SN64. But before we start, one thing. I assume all of you already have one of these gamer boxes. Or maybe even a gamer flatbook. That works as well. Why? You'll need one of these for streaming and recording your speedruns. I don't know what exactly is in here, but I assume there's a graphics card in there. But I'll have that and all the other important information in the description below. Now, what comes to mind first if you actually want to play the game? Not streaming, not recording, just play in. Well, check this out. I advise you to buy the console and game from the same region. Now this is an American N64, so I have to get around the region lock. Just a little bit of plastic is holding you back from playing Japanese games on your American console and vice versa. As you can see, I've already cut out the plastic in my N64, I just used a knife. <laughs> but you don't have to do that. If you end up buying an American console and Japanese game like I did, you'll have to get an American game as well. It doesn't matter which game, it doesn't have to be SM64. So you just have to switch the bag. Wait, what the fuck? What a fucking idiot. This is not the American version. Although the logo is the same. This game is for Hong Kong only. I'm pretty sure Germany is part of Hong Kong, so... Everything about it is the same as the US version. Like the text in game, for example. But it has a Japanese bag, so it can run on Japanese consoles without getting around the region lock. So yeah, you'll need an actual American game if you want to switch cartridge bags. And while we're at it, if you buy the Japanese game, make sure you don't buy the Shindu version, which is only good for single star, not for runs. Yes, 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 yes. No, 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 no. What a fucking idiot. If you end up buying an American game where the bag is a little bit different, you'll have to get these screwdrivers as well. So you just kind of screw it open. Jesus. Come on, you fucking bitch. So once you get rid of these screws, you can just, you know, and then you grab your American bag and just put it on there. I would just try to get a Japanese game and a Japanese console so you don't have to fuck around with the region log. If you live in a PAL region like me, I'm from Europe, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry for your loss, but you'll probably have one of these, a PAL N64 and a PAL game maybe. Mmm, so good. NTSC games don't work on a PAL console because the frame rate is fucky. This is awful, dude. It feels like it constantly lags, the game. So, just throw this garbage away, dude. Now, the good thing is you can use your power, 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 power supply for NTSC consoles. So, you can just use the cables that you have for your power console for your NTSC console. It's like, no problem, if you already have a power one. Now, you can find the console for like 30 bucks on eBay and the game for like 10 bucks. That's hella expensive. Back in my days, they were like 10 bucks. What? The, what happened, dude? Either way, you have your console and the game, and once you plug in, you, you're kind of missing something, right? So what else do you need? I don't know. You will need one of these suckers, one of these beauties. Now, finding these on eBay is kind of trash. You'll find a cheap one for like eight bucks, but check it out. Check out how loose the control stick is. Can you see it? Can you see how fucking loose the control stick is? Can you fucking see it? Hmm. Man. 
If you want a good control stick, like a 9 out of 10, it's almost factory new pretty much, and the control stick just feels like, oh, oh, feels so good. Finding such a good controller for cheap on eBay is pretty hard. It's kind of like getting a good SL100. Usually it goes okay, but sometimes it's awful and sometimes godlike. At the end it's just RNG, so if you want a controller from a trustworthy source, you should ask sm 64 so if they know any good collectors that are selling at the moment. A decent controller is like 30 bucks, so in the beginning you can go with a cheap one, it would just kind of hurt your hands I guess. Just as a bonus, you could get a GameShark to practice properly on N64 with practice codes. You need a GameShark version 3. Point something. I have a version 3.2 and it survived for a long time, so I'm quite happy with that. It's hard to find a good one that actually works and getting anything below version 3. Point something is just... Version 2 only allows like 13 lines. That's nothing. That's like... A fourth of the safe states on N64 practice code. So yeah, if you want to practice properly on N64, you'll need one of these as well. But that's just a bonus, so fuck this thing. You have your old console, your old controller, your old game. What else is missing? You know, like, a regular TV just doesn't work. You need an old TV. That's what you need. Make sure to lift it up with your knees, alright? Otherwise it can really hurt your back. Now in America you find these for free, like on the streets I've heard. But in Germany you have to hunt for these things. I've been after this thing for 10 years. Now it's finally time I'm gonna get it. Fuck Amy, am I right? Let's go. <laughs> Oi. I'm trying to detect the static sound waves. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. I think it's this way. I think we're very close. Yes, yes, yes. I can finally speedrun SM64. Or maybe you can just ask a neighbor. All right, our setup is already looking pretty nice. We can finally play the game, we can finally maybe even practice the game, but there's still something missing. Like, I want to show the world how much I fucking suck at Mario. So what do I do? You get one of these. Now, this is a GB USB 2. They are fairly expensive. I found mine for 12 bucks on eBay, so maybe if you're lucky, you can get a cheap one. There's also some alternatives, like a Dazzle DVC 100, 
or maybe even a super super cheap capture card that's the one I suggest you get in the beginning it, it will have to do for now this guy has actually no idea what he's talking about and you should definitely get a de 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 Dazzle DVC 100 unfortunately with just the capture card we'll only get the signal on our gamer box and not on our CRT so what you need is a splitter they're super cheap I have been using this one for a couple of years now and it still works Oh no! and all you do is just plug this bad boy in there nice and mm, just perfect fits perfectly and you only need one because you can use the sound from your PC to hear the game so as long as you have one for the yellow plug it's all good next up you'll need a composite cable as well that has these on both ends let's just imagine the N64 is already plugged in N64 cable in here, here and the yellow one in here so then from your composite cable you plug this in there as well and then the other end of that cable just goes into the CRT and you're good now you get a picture and sound on your PC fuck on your gamer box now just an advice on my end I really like to use NREG to record SM64 it can be a confusing program but there's a nice tutorial on how to set it up properly so you get the best out of your capture card you just you just want to get the best pixels in the game you know your pixels might end up looking better than other pixels think about that and there you have it the bare minimum you need to play and record Super Mario 64 for the Nintendo 64 there's really nothing else that you need that is it that is all you need it's not that much what was that? a microphone and a webcam? if you already have a game of Flatbox then you can just use that it has the webcam and the microphone as well oh yo thank you for the 10 gifted subs electrolyte thank you so much you're such a fucking dwarf. Fuck you. <laughs> if you really want a microphone, well, you can just get like a cheap gaming headset. It does the trick. Hey man, why don't you just bob that subscribe button? Like, come on, man, just do it. Like, please. Yahoo! Wahaha! Yee! Yippee! Mario! Mario. Mario. I think the quality on this mic is really good. You know, just let me know down in the comments below, please. Oh, boys, remember this one. Hey, hey, I rule 782. Now, everything that I showed today, like on eBay, for example, I found within a couple of seconds. If you look around, maybe you'll find something cheaper as well. Or if you just wait a little bit, the prices might drop. Just slowly buy everything. You don't need to get the best setup right away as well. My personal setup, for example, has changed a lot over these last few years. I started out with a Dazzle DVC 100 and then upgraded to the GBUSB 2, you know? Now I don't even play on a CRT anymore. You don't need the best equipment right away. Just start out, see how you like it, and hopefully you'll end up not spending too much money. If you end up really liking it though, you know, buy a retro tank maybe, maybe something else, who knows. Speaking of which, now that I have one of those, I can finally get rid of my CRT. No, please, no, 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 no. Hmm. I guess maybe not yet. Alright folks, thank you so much for watching, that's the video. I hope you learned something, maybe now you can assemble your own speedrun setup, who knows. Everything important is in the description below, so check it out, or maybe not, maybe not. Cool! Ich bin Goblin. Echt? <lacht> nice.